Hey everybody, it's Cynthia from Cynthia's Creations. You guys, I tried to do a live, but it was unsuccessful, so I'm doing this video for you guys. We're doing a Winter Wonderland canvas. So I'm using a 16 by 20 canvas. I've already glued the lady's face to the canvas. I wish I hadn't because her head is so big. You see, see, you see her head is so big, but we're going to work it out. She's very big. She should be on an 18 by 24 canvas, but she's on a 16 by 20. You're going to need the canvas, your lady. You're going to need some twist ties. And I got this uh, snow snowball mesh from the Dollar Tree. I used about eight and I cut them a half yard. So I only got like six pieces out of each one. And then I had a 20 inch that I cut those up into six six inch pieces because they were 20 inches long and then you're going to need some ornaments some glitter you're going to need Mod Podge and you're going to need your foam board because her head was so big I didn't want to use the reef wire so if you guys have seen my previous videos you see how I, you, you you know how I cut out I use the reef wire to I trace it out and then I punch my holes. This is a lot of holes, but I'd rather have too many than not enough for this video. So let's get started. Since we all ready, let's get started. Again, I cut these into half, half yard, which is 18 inches. If you didn't know, they're 18 inches. And I'm just gonna scrunch, which just, I call it the scrunch method. You can call it the woodland ruffle method. And that's what it's gonna look like. And this deco mesh, I am feeding through the front front of the foam board and I'll tie it in the back. I'm going to work through this as quickly as I can for you guys because I know you've been watching the other videos. To my subscribers, thank you guys for subscribing and for those who are new here, thank you for watching. I hope by the end of this video, you will have subscribed to my channel so you won't miss any other videos. I could have did another step and had these already scrunched up with twist ties on them. But there may be some people that haven't seen this process done before. So that's why I'm wrapping on camera. And I wanted to go live so that I could answer any of you guys' questions. It works well on the computer, but there must be something missing on the phone. So I didn't want to take too much time fooling around with it. So after this video, I'll look into it. So basically, you're just going to work all the way around your foam board by using the woodland method, woodland ruffle method, or the scrunch method. And I cut my, for this, because she's being applied to the canvas, I cut my twist ties in half. Chanel stems in half. So I'm going to do a couple more with you.
And then when I come back, this whole board is going to be done. And I'll tell you how many pieces I used. Okay, guys. So I am done with this tool. I called it deco mesh, but it's actually tool. And I added some white in. I cut some white pieces out because I wasn't sure if it was gonna, the blue was gonna fill it all in. But I wind up using 50 cuts of the tool. And that's what it looks like before I put this on her hair. I'm gonna decorate her face and her clothes. So I'm gonna put this to the side. And since we're going with royal blue, we're going to use royal blue for her face. And I'm going to make some clothes on her. And yes, I'm going to be using glitter. You guys know I like to use glitter. So I'm going to be using some glitter to do this. This is actually the way I make clothing if I'm not using fabric or flowers. Basically, you put the Mod Podge where you want it to go, make dress her up, and I'm gonna hope that I like it. This is a winter wonderland, so she needs some clothes on because it's cold outside, baby. It's cold outside. So the color glitter I'm using is called Sapphire. The color is Sapphire. And remember, I will, when this dries, I'll go over it one more time. You don't want to keep layering it and then layering it and then putting the glue on because it can come off that way. So I'll just add, you don't want to overdo it. I will add one more coat of decoupage when she dries, just so the glitter can stay adhered. Or you can use the clear spray sealer, the adhesive spray. And it won't take the luster away. If you put the Mod Podge over, it'll still have that luster. Have a good night. Stay safe. I almost changed my mind about the color. The color that I wanted to do her clothes in. But because I said I'm doing a Winter Wonderland theme. And I have the Sapphire Color Balls ornaments. I said I would do a clothing the same way. We'll see how it's going to turn out. Yeah, we'll see how it's going to turn out. Because one thing with this glitter, if I don't like the color, I can always go over it again. But I think it's going to be fine. Sapphire, and now I'm getting ready to do her eyes and her lips. 
remember just follow the outline And I actually should have did that first, but that's okay. I'm going to turn her around. So you all can see. You follow the outline. With your Mod Podge. Okay. The last video I did, I did upside down. <laughs> the Spoon Diva. You guys saw that one. And I did that one so you guys could see how I was working on that one. This is kind of difficult laying this makeup on on upside down, sideways. But we're going to get her done. The color blue. And silver always make me think of a winter one wonderland. That's why I'm calling her winter wonderland. And this isn't for anyone. So, my ladies, a few of you has, have asked for blue and silver. <clears throat> so you can just let me know how you like this one. Leave me a message in the comments or send me an email. My email is also attached to the front page of my channel. See how that's done? Sprinkle. I like this color. See what it looks like once I put the, but I missed the spot over here on her shoulder. Do the lips the lips can be a little complicated sometimes too because the photograph has a line and you wanna you don't you want to stay in the line because you want to keep the shape and then some of the lips don't look right when you put just uh like there's a line in the center of her lips to, to separate the upper and the lower and sometimes when you just fill it in and omit the line, I, sometimes they don't look right. With this lady, I try to leave her line in the center. But it's up to you. It's up to the way you like it. I originally started out with the marker, a silver marker and a blue marker, <clears throat> but because this is a festive one, I want the shimmer.
I've been wanting to bring you guys something, but I have really been under the weather. Felt a little better today. Almost there. We're going to put her headdress on. And you guys remember how to do that because I use the foam board. All you have to do is punch a hole in it and attach it to this canvas. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it. I think, yeah, it's, it's, she's the Miss Patty LaBelle inspiration video. All right, so I'm not going to do anything else with this. I'm going to put the sapphire on her lips, and I'll just make my adjustments if I need to. But right now, I've covered every place I wanted to for her lips. And I have my mask on because I'm working so close to the glitter. I don't want to breathe. I'm talking and breathing heavy and I don't want any breathing any glitter. So there you go, guys. I know how I feel all the see. There we go. So now, I'm going to add her headdress on. Let's get this out the way. Oh. That didn't work. Always have a blooper. Always have a blooper. But this is what I'm going to do. I am going to lay this down so the glitter won't be in my way. And I know where I'm going to place her because I cut my foam out in the shape that I wanted it to be before I got started. Remember, she had a really big head. I had someone print this for me and I said, print it out and just fill the whole page. And that's what they did. Remember, you're going to, I already have holes in the, remember, you're going to punch a small hole, like a pinhole, so you can get the chenille stem through the canvas. Not a large one, just a small one. Put your stem
स्वस्थ है And I will put, if I were using this because it's so lightweight, I will punch, I will put probably about four. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put one over here on the side, one in the center, and then one on this front, two on the back, and one in the center. So that's the one on the front. Gonna be the one on this side. Already have a hole punched through the foam board. Now I have to get through the canvas. I don't even see a hole I punched. There it is. And normally I would have have the shimmer already dry, but because we're doing the video, she's still wet. So I have to take it, be careful. We're gonna glue the ornaments on and then we'll reveal what she's gonna look like in the end. And she's pretty tight. I don't even think we're going to need. Just going to need this one right here at the top. And this is going to hold her to the canvas. If you want to do four, you can. But she's pretty snug with with just those two. And I am going to hold the camera over top of this. I'm using my phone to video this and I can see that I have to keep moving it around for you guys to see. So I want you to see the full 16 by 20 frame when I'm done, what it looks like. Just gonna do some touching up.
If you want to add a little hot glue under here, you can do that as well. But if you put the Chanel stems, that's going to hold the foam board down. And then the good thing about it, if you get tired of this headpiece, you can always, because it's foam board, you can take it off. You can leave her a sapphire on when, when the holiday goes away. You don't want a Winter Wonderland anymore. You can add another topping to her head, topper to her head. So I have some bling I want to add to her. I had to check the camera. It looked like it wasn't moving. Glue gun is ready to go. So I'm going to add some bling to her collar. Y'all remember this wireless glue gun, right? Put it on the docking station. Glue heats up. You can put it to the side. And I have to remember that Miss Sapphire is still a little wet. All right, now her makeup is, her face is beat. Makeup is all pretty. Miss Sapphire, I found this ornament that I'm going to use for her earring. I could have actually used it for her hair. But when, when I saw it in the store, I just thought it would make a perfect earring. So that's what I'm going to be using this for. Her earring. And since it's heavy, I'm probably going to put some more glue. Make sure she doesn't go anywhere. And if you're doing this diva, this Winter Wonderland diva, you're probably going to want to make sure you're over top of your reef portion so you can place your ornaments on. We're getting ready to put the ornaments on. Be generous, very generous with your glue for this. You don't want them popping off. I did one before. I did a Merry Christmas Diva wreath, and her ornaments stayed on really good. Hmm. 
Hmm. Don't want to put too many because we'll take away from the the tool that's on here. I'm just going to alternate the from the sapphire to the silver. And these have glitter on them. I wasn't sure if I was going to use the glitter or no glitter. But the glitter seems to be working with her clothing that I made. With this, if you want to add a lot of balls, you can get different sizes to put in there. And that's what I think she needs. She needs different sizes. Yeah, that's what she needs. She needs she needs the different size ornaments or different shape. But if you want to do it, leave it this way. This will work as well. I am going to add some silver flowers.
if you want to leave the green leaf on, you can. I'm going to take it off. I think it looks better without the green. Okay, guys, one more flower and she's done. And I know I say I'm done and I keep going, but I have no more material, so she is done. Just have to glue this one down and she's done. Hope you guys like this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have not subscribed to Cynthia's Creations, I have fun doing this. And here she is. Miss, Miss Winter Wonderland. Take care, guys. See you on the next one.